Dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Maddie is renting Aunt Eloise's apartment in New York. And after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, Maddie called to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police. So she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Call you later, Nancy. Alright, so here we are in New York. I'm having an eerie sense of deja vu. And uh, we're going to uh, drop by Aunt Eloise's apartment and uh, in, Nancy. go visiting. Open. So this is the second uh, game in the Nancy Drew series and uh, I already played um, the first game, uh, Secrets Can Kill, which uh, was um, really interesting. It had uh, a quirky and at times funny plot. Um, it had some interesting red herrings. Uh, there was just a lot going on in it, and uh, I thought, let's continue the series with the second game. Welcome to New York, Nancy. I'm really glad you could come out here on such short notice. Um, <laughs> yes, so I decided to go on with the second game, little realizing the uh, wonderful array of technical issues that the second game would give me as it is quite old now. I think it's from 1999, maybe? Uh, Her Interactive have been making these games for a very long time, and they're very good at it, uh, but yes, uh, getting this one running and agreeing with Steam Labs has been difficult. Uh, and uh, hopefully now I've got it uh, pretty well under control. The sound thing seems to just be a thing. I can't do anything about that, so uh, there'll just be a little bit of static in the background. All right, let's uh, chat with this lovely lady. It's always nice to come back to the Big Apple, and now I get to stay with a famous soap opera star. It must be exciting work. Believe me, it's not all that exciting. With 5 a.m. shoots, a million lines to learn, people all uptight and yelling, and now Rick's getting these death threats. Well, tell me about the death threats. Well, for the past month, my co-star, Rick Arlen, has been getting these awful death threats. At first, we all shrugged it off. You get the occasional odd letter in this business. But then they started to get weird. Weird? They're totally bizarre. Not only did he get letters, but somebody sent him a box of poison chocolates, a broken watch, and then there's that whole thing with the teleprompter. So, what happened with the teleprompter? Well, I was reading the teleprompter during a scene with Rick. <gasps> All of a sudden, my lines read, You're going to die a horrible death, Rick. At the time, we all thought it was some sick joke, but nobody admitted to doing it. Yeah, because someone was going to admit to having done that. <laughs> you're going to die a horrible death, Rick. Not just, you're going to die. You're going to die a horrible death. Someone sent him poison chocolates? Rick's a major chocoholic. His fans and friends are always sending him boxes of candy. But these chocolates were so nasty, Rick spit them out. <laughs> I've never seen Rick say no to chocolate before. Did Rick go to the police? No, and that's the problem. No one is taking any of this seriously. Especially Rick. He thinks nothing will ever hurt him. That's actor's ego for you. Tell me about the letters. Well, the first ones had the letters cut out of magazines, you know, like on a ransom note. They were all signed by someone named B.T. Kaiser. Somehow the news leaked out and the press totally jumped on them. Then they started getting ugly and twisted. Nancy, I'm running late. I need to get to the studio. Hey, why don't you come over and visit? I'll leave a visitor's pass for you at the security desk. Oh, before I forget, here's a copy of the house keys. I'm always losing my keys, so I've got plenty of copies. I'll write the studio's address on your map. Just catch a taxi cab outside and show them the map. They'll know how to get there. Right, so. 
When we played Secrets Can Kill, I ended up um, spending a lot of time stuffing around in a library looking at a load of irrelevant books, uh, which all seemed important at the time. I need something to make this work. Okay, we've got to find another videotape, I guess. Um, so yeah, there was stuff that seemed important at the time. Maddie Jensen, Light of Our Love, 1999 Annual Soap Star Awards. Uh, as it turned out, they were totally irrelevant. Uh, but a poster that I totally missed was apparently very relevant and I couldn't finish the game without looking at it. So uh, the lesson I learned is that not everything is important, but absolutely everything can be important. So uh, forgive me while I click on everything. Oh, no, I thought I was going up the stairs. Turn night to day or day to night. The choice is yours for darkness or light. Choose the path you decide to take, for only you can decide your fate. What? Alright, I don't quite know what happened there. Nancy, while you were out, Ned called. He asked me to tell you to call him the first chance you get. By the way, he sounds cute. <laughs> ah yes, Ned. Apparently I didn't defend Ned well enough in the first game. Uh, wow. Well, let's give Ned a buzz. Hello? Guess who? Nancy! First you leave me to visit your aunt in Florida, and now you're in New York. By the time you get back to River Heights, I'll be an old man. That's okay. I'll still love you. Even if I'm bald and wearing dentures? <laughs> I wonder if there is a right and wrong answer here. Of course, Ned. Even if you're toothless and hairless. You're so sweet. Strange, Strange but sweet. But sweet. So, Hannah told me about the investigation you're working on. Sounds neat, but kind of dangerous. Anything I can help you out with? Well, I'm getting along so far. Okay, I'll let you get back to your sleuthing. Be careful. I love you. Okay, I want to get away from this phone. I don't think I want to call anyone else quite yet. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything else I can do in here right at the moment. So, uh, let's check out Taxi. the studio. Where can I take you today, miss? Oh, wow. Broadway, please. What an accent. Meet Rick Arlen in person, because what you want to do when you're getting death threats is have in-person appearances. Light of light or our love. Uh, Rick Allen, winner of five daytime awards, best, uh, best on scene, visit our website, studio two is please form behind the rope, and uh, what have we got? Okay, this is where everything is, huh? Am I going to have to remember all this? That tree looks very suspicious. Results of the Eddie Reader's Poll. Hello. So somebody cut the letters out of a magazine and left the magazine sitting around? Huh. 
you don't see this, there might be something missing. I was going to say, is that making like a pattern better? Because otherwise, why... Why can I turn this page if they just wanted to make the point that the letters were missing from the magazine? Mission accomplished. F O T G S N The s the subtle gum free gem fray this what is this even about? Oh Okay, let's um I think we've uh Alright, so uh, somebody's nicked the letters out of that magazine and we know that the first several letters were uh, printed with uh, letters out of magazines. It was at this point in the studio's history that they started employing CG. Before then, they broadcast real people. We have a security Can I guard. Help you? Yes. Maddie Jensen left a visitor's pass for me. It should be listed under Nancy Drew. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. You'll need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. Uh, okay. Have a nice day. Some real elevator music going on here. I'm guessing we, uh... Probably shouldn't go into anywhere while they're on air. I'm going to drop a save because I uh, did learn... ...the hard way that you can uh, game over. quite hard in this series. Last time I did it by setting off an alarm on a soda machine. Sandra O'Ward, casting director. Alright, emergency exit routes. This could be useful to know. So we've come in and gone this way. So sound stage one is presumably what's on air. He doesn't seem to want to talk to us. These all seem to be real people, so they can't be involved in the case. It's open! Oh, that was terrifying. Hello there. Oh, are you a visitor? According to the policy's memo dated July 14th, 1954, no one is permitted in the prop room. Except for those people permitted in the prop room. You may want to talk to the director, Lillian Weiss, if you want to become permitted. She likes to do all of the hiring around here. Good day, my dear. Well, that was bracing. Uh, okay, so I can't go any further that way. I don't care who he is. No one breaks a contract with Bill Pappas. I'll kill him before he runs out on me. Charming. Just, just lovely. Um, how do I get off this screen? There we go. Okay, so I'm now at the other end, and there's exits all over this building. This seems to be dressing rooms. Maddie's. It's open. Hey, Nancy. Glad you could make it. We'll be shooting soon, so I only have a couple of minutes to chat. Can you tell me more about Rick? Hmm, where should I start? Well, I've known Rick since I started acting. Well, after I got my big break with the touring production of Romeo and Juliet. We both played the leads. I guess it gave us good practice for the parts of Rory and Serena. 
Are they a couple? So how long have you been a couple? You mean off screen or on screen? You see, Rick and I dated when we were with the touring company for Romeo and Juliet. Do you think an old flame of yours could be motivated by jealousy to do this to Rick? Actually, Rick and I are no longer dating. But come to think of it, I do know someone who could be jealous enough of Rick to do something like this. Yuri, Yuri Danner, Rick's twin brother. I'm sorry, Nancy. It's been a running joke Isn't around here. Is it an evil here. twin? You see, Rick's character has oh, an evil twin, Yuri. And does. everyone's been saying that it's him who's causing all this trouble. But seriously, I have no idea who could be behind this. I think oh, it's her. Oh, the time. I've got to get to makeup. Hey, why don't you come down to the set in a few minutes? I'll be shooting a scene with Rick. In the meantime, make yourself at home. Alright, what have we got? Masai. Um, these are symbols of my love for you. You are... Oh, my French is not that good. Oh, Madonna. Someone's extremely embarrassed about love? Your love? Someone's leaving notes in French. I'm really hoping I don't need to translate all of that. That would be pretty intense. Uh, okay, so... So love, oh, love, a light of our life is uh, declining, and there's talk about cast changes. And an embezzler escaped to Rio de Janeiro. I wonder if that's significant. So Arlen, Rick might be leaving. And three clowns were injured. Did someone set the elephants on Rick and they missed? Can't check her magazines to see if she's ripped any letters out. Power. This is some quality writing. Well, I'm making myself at home and snooping around your stuff. Is that what you meant? Revenge Blue. Is there actually a shade called Revenge Blue? Because, like, if there is, that's really weird is that apple significant who knows I don't seem to be able to click on anything here we're keeping a photo of Rick we're keeping several photos of Rick playbills this lipstick has been smudged. I think. Or used roughly. Um, anything else of interest? Nope. Yeah, I really don't seem to be able to click on anything on this side of the desk. Uh, snoop in a bag. There's a dead fern. What's in the cupboards? Enough cosmetics to sink a ship. Am I getting anything from any of this? I can't even click on any of it. 
Shut the cupboards. Uh, what about her toothbrush? Is her toothbrush suspicious? I am suspicious of her toothbrush. She's never even used that toothbrush. Look at it. It's perfect. Straight out of the packet. Maybe it's part of her ride as she gets a fresh toothbrush every day. Uh... This is really like Snoopy. Meant to sway the heart to trust and fill the eyes with blindness. A mask of sweet sincerity. A, oh, a mask of sweet sincerity, a cloak of loving kindness. Meant to sway the heart to trust and fill the eyes with blindness. Okay. Interesting. Ay. All right. 